The overall goal of this procedure is to improve the scalability and reproducibility of uniform spheroid formation using a liquid overlay technique in 384 well plates. The main advantage of this technique is that it reduces excessive medium evaporation from multiple plates and thereby improving the reproducibility of spheroid formation. We have developed and validated the method of uh, culturing 3D spheroids uh, for high throughput screening uh, tests in our laboratory. And uh, our study was to evaluate uh, what is the edge effect uh, in the plates uh, of the, of the multicellular cultures. Today, I will demonstrate the procedure together with Sonia, a postdoc from the laboratory. Begin this procedure by weighing out 0.75 grams of low melting point agarose and add it to 100 milliliters of McCoy's 5A medium with or without phenol red and without serum. Heat the solution in a microwave and swirl it every one to two minutes to completely dissolve the agarose. Then autoclave the solution to sterilize it. After allowing the autoclaved agarose to cool to about 70 degrees Celsius, Filter it through a 500 milliliter 0.22 micrometer bottle top filter in a laminar flow box. Next, if the entire solution will not be used at once, aliquot it. Store this ready to use agarose solution aseptically in a cold room or 4 degrees Celsius fridge for up to 4 weeks. Working in a flow box, install a plastic or